<laughs> that sure is fantastic. Silence! <laughs> yes, it's me, the boner. Mother, what it is, guys? Blue Blossom says, D, recently I asked you guys in the poll what you guys wanted to see. You guys said Side Night and Happiness. I told you guys that we'd seen all of the Side Night and Happiness compilations, and y'all promptly told me, we don't give a damn. We watch them anyway. Well, look on the bright side. They all get copyrighted anyway, so it's not like we're making money. <laughs> oh, oh, taxi, taxi! Hey, how's it going? Listen, I, I don't have time for chatter. I'm late for my meeting. I need you to drive fast, and I need you to get me there 20 minutes ago. I'll do you one better, buddy. The son of a bitch that what left us in dinosaur times. Get him! Wow! Oh, God damn it! <sighs> well, I guess since we're all here. Greeting, greetings, boys and girls. This is the Empty Stomach Food Review. People are going crazy for Food Shack's new menu item, the Cheesy Hot Dog Shack Taco. Hell they say no. hot dogs and tacos just can't mix. I say we find out. But first, we'll get a nice thumbnail. <laughs> One of those should work. All right, going in. Mm -hmm. Going in for a second bite. It sucks. What? Where did he go? Ah. That's what's up. What the fuck? Need a little help from the audience. <laughs> yes. Now. You're gonna help me hide this body. Uh -huh. What? Really on a tape? <laughs> oh, I really want to get in shape, but these cholesterols are so good. Cholesterol. Did you say grime? No. What? No. No, I didn't. I'll make short work of that obesity. Or oh, my name isn't Senor Lean Fist. And it is. Who said it isn't? <laughs> ah! 
Ooh-la-la. <laughs> Pretty mean, if I do say so myself. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> and I do. Uh. Oh. Mother, how you gonna kill us? <laughs> oh, say uncle. Did you say uncle? Who wants to know? That's no way to treat a fellow classmate, young man. Oh, thanks, Senor Lean Fist. You're welcome. Oh. Ah! Three decades and 1,400 pounds later, Crispin Gord is just ounces away from finally securing his place as the fattest man in the world. <laughs> this final is going to him over the edge and into the Book of World Records. Coming right up. Oh, my hand! It's bleeding. It's bleeding. Help! Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, sir. Here, let, let me disinfect it with some alcohol. Oh, Christ, it hurts. Stop. Just call a doctor already. Oh, of course. Sorry, sorry. Uh, coming right up. You're fired. Ugh, ew, I didn't order a loser. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> ha! 
Oh, oh, right. <laughs> that sure is fantastic. Silence. <laughs> yes, it's me, the boner. Mother. I hope you're what? enjoying your meal because what? it'll be your last if you don't hand over your money. What? Oh my. Take it all. Now give me all you've got. What the huh? fuck? Tune in next time for more exciting adventures of Completely Normal Hibachi Guy. Will the contenders for the middleweight championship match please approach the scales for the weigh-in? Uh, <laughs> oh, Kid, you got this. chunks of his, the source of his power, and part of a balanced breakfast. I must get my hands on them. <laughs> Finally! Now the power is all mine! You fool! What have you done? We've been putting muscle relaxants and tranquilizers in lunk slunky chunks for years. They limit his power. Ow. He is on. Ow. You doomed us! You doomed us all! Oh, with the dumbass! What the fuck? Lumpy chunks! Really? Uh, it's no use. It just doesn't want to come out. Honey, you've been in here for hours. Maybe a good night's sleep would do you good. Oh, God. Kidney stones are the worst. I wouldn't wish them on anyone. What is it with all of these fucking coins? Oh. 
<laughs> well, son, are you ready to open your present? Whoa. What? It's your very own pony! Dad, you idiot! I wanted an Xbox! Ugh! Uh-uh-uh. Not so fast, son. This isn't just a pony. For within this pony is the antidote. An antidote, you ask? Why, the antidote for the poison that was in your birthday cake! <laughs> oh yes, that's right, son. You ate a poison. Now you get to choose either to kill the pony to retrieve the antidote, or spare the pony and let yourself die. The clock is ticking, birthday boy. <laughs> kill the pony. <laughs> you get him, you get him, son. <laughs> Happy birthday, son! <laughs> well, it would seem that the lesson was more valuable than the present. Hey, boy. Reach into the back. Those are the freshest. I know, I know. Okay, I got it. We're gonna need you to power down before takeoff. Thank you. Welcome aboard, Magic Airlines. This is your, uh, captain speaking. If you look down the aisle, you'll see, uh, Cindy, who will be demonstrating for you the, uh, safety features we have on board your flight. Emergency exits can be found at the front and rear of the plane. Please turn off all electronic devices during this time until it is safe. In case of an emergency, an oxygen mask will dispense from your overhead. To inflate your life preserver, pull on these doohickeys here. That ought to do it. Magic Airlines appreciates your attention. Thank you. All right, folks, buckle up. I hope you paid attention to our safety features on today's flight because uh, we're going to take a little pop quiz. Big Sausage Pizza. Hi, this is Rod's Thick Pizza. How do you want it? Hi there. I'm a real lonely girl. And I'm so hungry, I could take all the meat you have. Mm, I think we could do it for you. Would you perhaps like a spicy Mexican or a hot Italian sausage? Ooh, I'll take Italian with extra sausage. Now, ma'am, you know we only do it deep. I'm so ready. Mmm, good. I'll be coming in 30 minutes. See you then. I'll be waiting. Hello, ma'am. Here's your pizza. And? And that'll be $12.95. Wow. So you should start to bone the child. Fitness buff. Huh? <laughs> 
everyone! Let's get moving! Single file! Let's go! <laughs> Sorry, we're only evacuating women and children first. For two more, baby, fat Next. as fuck. Wow. Okay, climb aboard. Ah, oh, thanks, man. No problem. <laughs> hey, all right. Get this bra oh, off me. Freaking heels, me. No, equality. Rocket tit. Oh, yep. oh, oh man. Women's equality. Right. There we go. Yep. Yep. There you go, bitch. Hey, look on the bright side. At least it's not us. Yep. Rock a bye, baby. Doc, give me the good news. How's my bundle of joy doing? Hmm. No. No, that that's not right at all. Oh no. Is there something wrong? Uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, Miss McCloud, but. I think you're feeling what is called a pregnancy. The symptoms you're experiencing are psychosomatic. You simply aren't pregnant. What? No, that can't be. I know that I'm pregnant. I can feel it. Ma'am, I understand that this is very difficult news to hear, but I can assure you that you're not pregnant. I'm so sorry. I can't admit. I'm going into labor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. What? How can that? Oh, oh, okay. Um, um, take deep breaths, Miss McCloud. Uh, deep breaths. In and out. In and out. Okay, uh, you're doing good. Keep breathing. Fucking hurts! You better watch your mouth, Miss McCloud, or your baby's gonna come out swearing like a sailor. Shut the fuck up and help me! <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, of course. Just keep pushing and focus on the breathing. Perfect. Just like that. I think I can see it. I cannot believe it. It's a boy. Well, Mr. McCloud, it seems I spoke too soon. You are now the proud mother of a bouncing baby. Miss McCloud? Okay, when we break the news to the kids, we need to do it in a way that doesn't make one of us seem like the bad guy. We need to let them know that we still love them. We just don't love each other. Yeah, you're right. But look, it's okay. I'll start the conversation. If they have any anger, it'll be towards me. They can't be mad forever. Really? Wow. Thank you, Brad. That's very mature of you. Well, they've always liked you more anyway. <laughs> Kids, put your toys down for a minute. Your father and I... Your father and I have something to tell you. Kids, your mom and I love you very much. So very much. You are just the best kids in the gosh darn world. And we are so lucky to be your parents. And that's why I'm raising your allowance by five whole dollars! Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Woo! What? Thank you, Daddy. You're the best dad ever. Brad, what are you doing? Kids, you're not getting a bigger allowance. Your father and I are getting a divorce. What? No! M Mom, why? Why are you doing this to us? Yeah, Mom, why? <laughs> you monster! Can I put it in your butt? Can you put it in the what? Can I put it in your butt? Can you put it in the what? Can I put it in your butt? Yes, you can. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> ah, Pinocchio, you look marvelous. You almost look like a real boy. I want to be a real doll. 
Okay. What? Uh, sandwich? Oh. Oh. What? Yo, that's a cool ass bird. Yo, that bird is cool. Hey, that's good. This is a good thing. Oh, my fucking sandwich! What type of shit? We won't get to go <laughs> on that fishing trip, after all. Don't you say that. We're gonna get you out of here. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I'm Langshot. Tell my wife <laughs> I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I'm Langshot. No, Sarge. If you're gonna pull through, you're gonna make it. And you're gonna walk up to her on your own two feet right out of here. And you're gonna tell her yourself. And also, she's standing right over there. Oh! It's not far. Oh! She and I <coughs> have been at odds lately. <coughs> Ever since she shot me in the lungs. Are you sure? All right. <laughs> <I'll be fine. laughs> um, 
I'm sorry to tell you this, ma'am, but your husband is long shot and he's not going to make it. Well, you tell him that maybe after he's done dying, he can clean the garage like I've asked him to, uh, I don't know, a hundred times. Oh, oh, okay. I'll go tell him. Sarge, Sarge, wake up. Sarge, stay with me. So your wife said that when you're done, um, dying, that you should clean the garage. Well, you tell her. <coughs> I would love to if she hadn't shot me in the lungs. Um, yes, sir. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, all right. He's I'm TikToking this, by the way. The link is going to be in the description down below. Go over there, follow your boy. I got a bunch of TikToks over there already, man. You're going to see that they're up there. And uh, yeah, follow me on there because, you know, it's funny to act out scenes. It, it is. This is funny to me. <laughs> she shot me in the lungs. <laughs> well, that you tell him that if he's still dead by the time I get home from work, I'll kill him again. <sighs> All right. You wait right here. All right, Sarge. Now, she said that. Tell her <coughs> that. <coughs> She's a bitch. Okay, he says, cough, cough, <laughs> gurgle. Well, you can tell him that if he doesn't get his bloody ass up, that all. Oh shit! This is all your fault me? if you just clean the not. garage like what you want me. You should clean no. the garage. Are you oh, kidding you me? Right no, along. I do I not believe you. No. This is oh. just insane. Is your blood everywhere. What did he do? What did he do? How did he even get shot? Wait, what? <laughs> She's a bitch. <laughs> Good Lord, these are funny. Oh my uh, God. Jeez, I totally forgot I put a pot of coffee on. Hope it's still good. Aw oh, man, I forgot to start the dishwasher. Guess I don't have any clean mugs. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what else I'm forgetting today. Nigga! <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot to dispose of this. Ah! Ah! Mother! What? <laughs> what is... What is... What is this stuff? Why do I not remember this? <laughs> <sighs> I think I saw this like a year. How Hot long? one today, huh? <laughs> <sighs> That's an intense beard you've got going on there. Hey, this might sound a little weird, but can I touch it? I, I feel oddly compelled to touch your beard. Wow, that's so weird. That is weird. Wait, oh, what the? Oh, oh shit. what is this? Wait, what? 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 Oh, hell no. Oh, 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 word. Whoa, nice beard. That's what's good in the streets. Hey, this might sound weird, but... Word? Oh, there it is. Yep, that's what it is. That makes no sense. Oh! They vomit lasers? They're like Broly from the Dragon Ball Super movie. You see the out of the My boy! My people are in grave danger and are in need of your help. Are you ready to go on a magical adventure? Heck yes, I am! Then come, follow me. There isn't much time. Woo! Come, follow me. That, it's that easy. I knew it. Every time! Every time! I knew it! Oh! 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 Excuse me?
motherfucker. Uh, what type of shit? Bathroom? They pooping? That's hot. I was joking. Don't do this. He's really shitting. Oh, he really shitting. Okay. Ooh. Is that is that good or? Uh. I don't know how to practice shitting on camera. I've never thought about it. I would love to act this out to practice my TikTok ability. You know, I, it's hard to poop in front of people. Ah! Yo! 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 Excuse me? Yo! Turn up! Turn up on him! Yeah! Turn up on him! Give him the hands! World star his ass! Turn up! Oh, shit! Come on, bro! Hey, yeah! Yeah! No, don't listen to that! Hit him again! Hit him again! Hit, bro! Hit him! Don't fall for this! I fell for this one time in, in real life! See, that's what happens. Now you're covered in tampons again. I'm not gonna tell that story. Yep. Is that the female's bathroom? What is he tripping? He did that all over some toilet paper? What type of, yep, I knew it. I was right, I was right. Look at me, I knew it. I, I tell this future. Oh hi, you didn't see me there. You know why? Because I'm Ted Bear. If you want to survive like me, you've got to have a sharp wit, endurance, good looks, and a backpack full of ingenuity. I've got mine on both straps. Try and keep up. Here's the scenario. You're on an international flight, and the best has gone dodgy. Perhaps an albatross with poor eyesight has confused your plane engine for a mate and smacks right into it. Oh. Macking up your one snug commute to a spiraling disaster catastrophe. Luckily, you've left your tray table up and now you're the only survivor stuck in some godforsaken jungle. It's cool, it's muddy, it's wet, it's hot, it's inconvenient and it's a bugger out of the way. Now, the first thing you got to do is get a sense of direction. A good strategy is to find the nearest river and follow it. After a while, all the walking will leave you <laughs> bleeding naked. You need to find a source of food, because food means carbohydrates. Carbohydrates mean energy. Energy means movement. Movement means survival. Luckily, there are bounties of food in the wilderness. You've just got to know where to look. <laughs> bacon! We must be underneath a bacon tree! Bacon? Motherfucker, what? Now, some of these aren't quite ready. You need to climb higher to find the crispy ones. Ah, now there's a nice ripe strip. You've got yourself a quarter of a complete breakfast, right? I ain't about to eat no tree bacon, bro. Bless me say he ain't about to eat on no tree bacon. Because bacon usually wet if you cook it good because of the grease. And it's crispy. And bacon tastes good to me. Bacon got to be delicious as shit to some of these other animals. Like, bro. All the hyenas, all the lions, everybody that eat meat gonna be at the bacon tree, bro. You on the lowest part of the totem pole, that's murder she wrote. And you know that's the truth because Tay K47 wrote that right before he killed like 40 people. <laughs> it's okay though, he, he, he's in prison. They, they got him. Don't free Tay K, I, I'm a civilian. I'm not, I'm not trying to be shot at. <laughs> <laughs> He'll do it. <laughs> there. Time to keep moving. Try and keep up. Now, we Maybe? need to find some refreshments to wash it down. Ah, now what do we have here? Now, it's very crucial to reach all the way in the back to get the freshest milk. Always, always, always check the expiration date on the back. It's imperative to your survival. Ah, just my luck. Chocolate chip muffins. Motherfucker! No! Oh! Blech! Oh. Raisins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! 
Here we are on some desert island, conceivably in the middle of the ocean. Without a map, we can't be sure. What we do know is that our body needs water. Not so fast, mate. This is salt water. We need to filter it into something more drinkable. And now the fruit fish turns salt water into delicious, drinkable punch. First, you need to find the fruit appendage. <laughs> oh, mother... Now you're probably thinking, not Dad, that. there's no such thing as a fruit I'm fish. Not sucking that. Well, you're right. It's actually a crustacean. I'm not sucking that. That, no. That, get over. Tick tock yeah, over. I'm yeah. about to. I'm just gonna try and keep up. See, uh. What? Oh. I'm not gonna be fat. I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not going back. I'm not going. Yeah. Oh shit. The, the trick to uh, survive it on a mountain. It's a. Uh, it's hard to catch your breath at this elevation. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Bitch! What? Excuse me? Get the fentanyl, bitch! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what was he sucking that out of? Can someone confirm that this is chocolate? That he's sucking out of this tube here? In the comment section, you give me a number crunch on the percentage that this is, uh, uh, this is pooper chocolate. This is 40, 60, 10, 20, I, you know, 36, 51. It's one, it's definitely a number. See, that's, I still wouldn't eat that because that's brown. I'm not eating anything brown. I'm not going to eat no muffin bugs. I'm not eating any, I'm not eating any white cream off, I see off the back of a, even if it's on the back of a mountain. I'm not going to do it. I'm not doing it. I, see that? I, I do that. I could do that. I'm not no glizzy gobbler. I'm not doing no films. I'm not, that I could do. Eat delicious treats in front of a bunch of starving camera people. I could do that. I've done that before. I could do that again by tonight, if need be. At very, very accessible. Yep. Carousal. Yep. Wow, man, are you okay? Yeah. Why? You got a pole in your stomach. Oh. Oh God. Oh God. What the hell? You've got one too. Yo. Oh God. Yo. Oh God. Yo. Sometimes it be like that, man. You just gotta roll with the punches, or the poles. You know. Poor little guy. He's been sick for so long. And I feel so badly for him. Damn. Little buddy is in so much pain. I'm afraid the only option we have left is... To pull her breast out. Know. Pull her titties out? Yeah, yeah that's, mm -hmm. that's a sign for pull her Ms. breast Livingston, out. Miss Livingston, this is an adult human being oh, inside of an nah. animal costume. I'm not... <laughs> we got nothing to do with you see that he's Nigga, I don't, I don't do... Bro... <laughs> Me and the homies, we was at this lit ass party at this anime convention, right? And me, I'm thinking it's gonna be nothing but half naked cosplay females, bro. And we get there and the party's really lit, but only half of them are females. The other half are scantily clad cosplay dudes. And bro, these just ain't any cosplay dudes, bro. They twerking. They busting it open and shit. They dropping it low. Bro, I was there for about 45 minutes and there was females hollering at me and everything, yo. The females was on me up in there. Me and my homie, we separated. I ran into him 45 minutes into the party, bro, and we both was on some, you know what, man? We should, we just gonna get up out of here, bro. He's my pet and it's my decision. And my decision is I want to end his suffering. Yeah, I see. <laughs> and uh, what is he suffering from exactly? Well, look at him. I tell you this every time you come in here, Mrs. Livingston. This is your son, Kurt, a 24-year-old adult human male, and I can't euthanize a 24-year-old adult human male. Actually, it's Fire Dash. Right. I'm a pyrofox. 
from the forest planet? I no, you you don't down understand. Down in the kingdom Fire of Fire Dash is sick. He's been. He's been sick. He's been sick a long time. <sighs> Miss Livingston. Call me Rachel. Miss Livingston, this has been and continues to be a complete waste of my time and resources. On top of the fact that this is completely unethical, it disregards Kurt's <laughs> basic... I don't see myself getting this livid at this. I'm just like, bro, look, it's your child. He's a Firefox. Just give him some video games and tell him whenever the rave concerts happen, the, the phone bubble parties, and just live with it. It's not that big of a deal. I don't want to get married. You don't want a son that is half Firefox. We all got to make sacrifices. Life is about change. Just roll with the punches. Human rights. It's Fire Dash. My name is Fire Dash. You just don't want to live I'm with a Mark. son who, as an it's adult, wants to live his life as a magical human planet? dog. Yeah, what? Know. Would you? Uh, Hell I'm no. Pyro Not Fox. to mention the responsibilities you have as a mother. His mother. Come on. Oh. Please? No. Isn't there somewhere I could leave him or something? Come on, Kurt. Are you gonna let her treat you like this? Or are you gonna stand up straight like a man and say, I'm here, I'm a magical dog boy, and I don't wanna die, mom? Yeah, that's I real. I appreciate you referring to me as a cisgender human male. <laughs> I'm a trigender pyrofox. Get out. Please! Get out. Please. Get out. Come on! Get out of the office! Oh, fine! <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, Puppet. <laughs> Soon you'll finally be free. Oh, yeah. I, I wouldn't do all this, man. Just, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, just start, just become street meat again. Just start street meeting it. That'll, you know what I mean? That's how a real man gets over his issues. Just, you know? Just smash the, just, just, just fuck the goofy out of your... Got to get the goofy smashed Dr. Murphy smashed is ready to see you, Joel. Right this way. Word? All right, if you'll just have a seat right here, the dentist will be with you momentarily. This chick... Hello there, Joel! Haven't seen you for a while! Oh, you weren't afraid to come back? No, were you? Nah, JK, JK. We like to have fun here. What? All right, Joel! Let's see what's going on with those choppers in there. Open up. Nah, I won't bite. Mother. And I hope you don't either. <laughs> JK, JK, LOL. Say, ah. You're getting a little too cold, oh, bro. Oh, wow. You're a little spitty, aren't you? True. Are you nervous? No. Yeah, this'll help. All right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, okay? Okay. Oh, bro, this is, bro. Yeah, I would identify with the dude in the chair, unfortunately, because I, yeah, you know I mean, this would be a, this is scary. Like, it's whole, I, I'm scared of doctor's offices a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because you never really know what's in the needle. You know what I'm saying? That could be like Ruflin. It could be a, 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 a jelly. You have some Smuckers. You never know. They could put anything in those syringes. That's real. You know what I mean? Tell me I'm lying. Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't, ne you never see, you know what I mean? You only see the pills they give you. You don't see. That's not cool, man. I've seen that before, but that is, that still feels. Happy Mother's Day, Bobby. Disgusting to see it happen. Oh, it's a cake. Damn. Mother's Day cake's on a thing, kiddo. But, Bob. <sighs> Is it bad that this reminds me of my childhood? Is that bad? She's too smart for me. That's real. That's how it was when I was growing up. Who's a good boy? Oh. You are. 
Who's a star? Damn. Yeah, you Dudes are. Dudes be really like this, too. Good boy. Dudes be really oh, like this. Yeah. They be really like this. I'm gonna go grab a drink. You want anything from the kitchen? Yeah, could you grab me a soda? Dudes usually be like this towards females' kids. You spend too much time with what them. What the fuck, man? Don't act like I don't know what's going on. Keep your paws off my Kool-Aid. Understood? <laughs> Keep it up and I'll take you to the pound. And by pound, I mean with my fists. What I'm trying to say is, I'll fucking fight you, dog. Gosh, make room, you two. I'm glad that you two are getting along so well. After all, he's my beastie big man. Yes, you are. Oh, he's so fucking cute. Oh, yeah. See, this is why I'm not jealous. Because jealousy in me does not look good. I just stopped it about 20 years ago. Any of you dudes out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Because it doesn't go the way that it's supposed to go. Think of Jonah Hill and the situation he's going through where she's like, oh, you telling me not to be in public and do slutty stuff is you controlling and, oh, and it's abuse and it's, oh, my brain is bad. I'm mental anguish, I had to get a counselor because you wouldn't be with me if I was still hanging out with other dudes. Oh, so just because I have a lot of play brothers, you're gonna not talk to me? So what, I come to your house smelling like other men's clone, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't still commit yourself 100% to me. That's what it is, pretty much. <laughs> That's it! Do you wanna take this outside? <laughs> I said, let's take this outside! <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's take this outside. Ooh. Am I winning? Am I winning the fight? Do I win this fight? That's not okay. And now he's gonna smash your bitch. That's exactly what that is. Yeah. <laughs> well, son, are you ready to open your present? Whoa. What? It's your very own pony. Dad, you idiot. I wanted an Xbox. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. Not so fast, son. This isn't just a pony. For within this pony is the antidote. An antidote, you ask? Why, the antidote for the poison that was in your birthday cake. <laughs> oh, yes. That's right, son. You ate a poison. Now you get to choose either to kill the pony to retrieve the antidote, or spare the pony and let yourself die. The clock is ticking, birthday boy. <laughs> kill the pony. <laughs> oh. Ooh. 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 Damn, not bad. Happy birthday, son! Happy birthday, son! <laughs> well, it would seem that the lesson was more valuable than the present. Hey, boy. <laughs> the dairy aisle. <coughs> Come on, titty. No? Reach into the back. Those are the freshest. I know, I know. That's her saying she's down for the heave hole. What type of shit? Okay, I got it. Ooh. Motherfucker. Fuck We're gonna need you to power down before takeoff. Thank you. That's real. Welcome aboard Magic Airlines. This is your uh, captain speaking. If you look down the aisle, you'll see uh, Cindy, who will be demonstrating for you the uh, safety features we have on board your flight. Emergency exits can be found at the front and rear of the plane. Please turn off all electronic devices during this time until it is safe. 
case of an emergency, an oxygen mask will dispense from your overhead. To inflate your life preserver, pull on these doohickeys here. That ought to do it. Magic Airlines appreciates your attention. Thank you. All right, folks, buckle up. I hope you paid attention to our safety features on today's flight because uh, we're going to take a little pop quiz. Die quietly? I don't understand. Oh, that's not There's good. There's too much weight! I... I have to cut the rope! I, I'm sorry! Wait! Let me do it! Whoa, what the fuck, dude? There's too much weight! It has to be done! I'm sorry! What makes you think he can hold you? Trust me! He can! He's been working out! Tell him I've been working out! Well, if anything, can't we cut the piano off? Huh. Yeah, that might actually be a good place to start. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow down! Slow the fuck down! I didn't come all the way to perform the first sonata, the summer to this mountain, just to fall off and die. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry! There's no other way! I I'm so sorry! Your piano was just too heavy! Your mother's too heavy! Hey! You take that back! Make me. I take it back. Guys, I'm slipping! <laughs> nice. Thank you. Seriously, though, we're all gonna die. Hold on. We're, we're gonna figure this out. If I may, uh, if you're still deciding that whole where to cut the rope thing, um, pretty sure the guy below me is a pedophile. I'm a teacher, not a pedophile. This is a field trip. I've told you guys like nine times. Wait, there's kids down there? We can't kill kids. Not just that, they're retarded kids. Oh, God. This is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. Hey, uh, can't we just cut off the panda bear? <laughs> oh. I should think not. That's an endangered species. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What does everyone else think? Drop him. Ditto. Kill the panda. Cool. Here you go. sauces pizza no i know this one i remember this one oh no oh yes there it is oh no, my god hi this is rod's Dildo big dippers. pizza but how do you my... want it oh my god the back i never saw that stuff in the background the first time i saw this one hi there i'm a real lonely girl and i'm so hungry I could take all the meat you have. Mmm, I think we could do it for you. Would you perhaps like a spicy Mexican or a hot Italian sausage? Ooh, I'll take Italian. I won't be acting this one out for obvious reasons. Oh, don't want to be age restricted. <laughs> we'll just use that as an excuse. With extra sausage. Now, ma'am, you know we only do it deep. I'm so ready. Mmm, good. I'll be coming in 30 minutes. See you then. I'll be waiting. Hello, ma'am. Here's your pizza. And... And that'll be twelve ninety five. This is obviously a child, like I think. <gasps> oh my god. Oh shit, kids, no. Wait, look. 
fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's not better. Oh, oh God. Look at, uh, I've got kids. I've got mouths to feed. Not, not this is what I'm feeding them. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh God. Oh, okay. This ain't bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Motherfucker, what? Oh. <laughs> That's a fight. Use me to hit some other dude on his ass. That's a fight, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I am a lot. You gotta get hands, feet, and, and everything else after that. Hands, feet, fists, you know what I mean? Elbows. Oh, shit. Oh, it's going down. Oh, this is not an alarm. I repeat, this is not a drill. Everybody. All right, everyone. Let's get moving. Single file. Let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. We're only evacuating women and children first. Yeah, what you doing that shit? Hey. Damn hey, that, Bob. nope. Wah. I love Wah. me. I Wah. love me way too much. To oh, shit. Wah. Is that a shot? No, Wah. that's... Oh! Oh, no! Oh, he grabbed me get him. Oh, oh, no! All right, we have room for two more. Oh, he ain't. Next! Wah. I can see me okay, doing this. Okay, climb aboard. I could do that. Bam. Oh, thanks, man. Oh. No problem. Hey, all right. Get this bra oh, off me. Freaking heels are killing me. So no one would have these rocket tits. Oh, 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 man. All right. Who wants to play it? Equality. Equality, ladies. That's equality. Blame feminism. Feminism did that to y'all. Y'all want to be strong like men. Y'all got to die like us too. Uh, if I got to die, you got to come too. That's, that's, that's real equality, I say. Doc, oh, give me the good news. Shit. How's my bundle of joy doing? Ooh. No. No, that, that's not right at all. Put in the comment section down below what job description is it that would allow me to do this and it not be women who are pregnant by other men. Those are the ones I'm trying to see under. Oh no, is there something wrong? Uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, Miss McLeod, but I think you're feeling what is called a phantom pregnancy. The symptoms you're experiencing are psychosomatic. You simply aren't pregnant. What? No, that can't be. I know that I'm pregnant. I can feel it. She's just fat. I understand that this is very difficult news to hear, but I can assure you that you're not pregnant. I'm so sorry. Uh, I can't admit. Yeah. I'm you going shooting? into labor. She's pooping. Uh, oh, 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 wait, 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 what? How can that? Oh, 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 okay. Um, She's um, pooping. Take deep breaths, Miss McLeod. Uh, deep breaths. In and out. In and out. Okay, uh, you're doing good. Uh, Keep breathing. Fucking hard. You better uh, watch your mouth, Miss McLeod. Or your baby's gonna come out swearing like a sailor. Shut the fuck up and help. <clears throat> yes, of course. Just keep pushing and focus on the breathing. Perfect. Just like that. I think I can see it. Oh, shit. I cannot believe it. It's a boy. Well, Mr. McLeod, it seems I spoke too soon. You are now the proud mother of a bouncing baby. Miss McLeod? 
What? Excuse but my mother what? How y'all came with us gonna leave us on the cliffhanger like that, bruh? Y'all ain't gonna at least attempt to close the gap? Let us know what is going on. Hook your boy up with some closure. Okay, when we break the news to the kids, we need to do it in a way that doesn't make one of us seem like the bad guy. We need to let them know that we still love them. We just don't love each other. Yeah, you're right. But look, it's okay. I'll- 80% of the time, it's the female's decision to leave the dude. Start the conversation. Which is a good thing. If they have you know any mean? anger, it'll be towards me. They can't be mad forever. I cannot play this guy. It's not gonna be me doing this. I'm not gonna do this. Nope. Me, I just leave. Really? You can make wow. one out of toothpaste. Thank you, Brad. That's very mature of you. You know you can make a prison shank out of a toothpaste tube? You don't even need toothpaste. Toothpaste tube and toilet paper. A little bit of toothpaste. It's glue. Well, they've always liked you more anyway. <laughs> Kids, put your toys down for a minute. <laughs> your father and I, your father and I have something to tell you. Kids, your mom and I love you very much. So very much. You are just the best kids in the gosh darn world. And we are so lucky to be your parents. And that's why I'm raising your allowance by five whole dollars. Yeah! What? 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 Thank you, Daddy. You're the best dad ever. Brad, what are you doing? Kids, you're not getting a bigger allowance. Your father and I are getting a divorce. What? No! M Mom, why? Why are you doing this to us? Yeah, Mom, why? <laughs> <laughs> you monster! <laughs> That's funny. I gotta see that. Oh! M Mom! Why? Why are you doing this to us? Yeah, Mom, why? <laughs> you monster! <laughs> but yo, that's really how you do it, though. That would literally work. Yeah, I mean, like, if I find a girl that's like, for like five years, she's like, yo, like, treats me like the best thing in the world. You know what I mean? Like, she's awesome. Five years, I married. Can I put it in your butt? Can you put it in the butt? Can I put it in your butt? Can you put it in the what? Can I put it in your butt? Yes, you can. Thank you, ma'am. Pinocchio, no you look marvelous. You almost look like a real boy. Please don't let that be a I want to be a real doll. Don't let that be nasty. Please. Because the last one, I don't know more butt stuff. Motherfucker, what? Ooh. No. 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 Now you're gonna kill her. Now she that she ain't gonna sit on that. Unless she a real freak. Bro, yeah, yeah, that's how you use it. Yeah. Bro, oh, shit. Disrespect. Don't tell me. Yeah, there it is. Stop. I'm, yeah, there it is. Long and strong. Just like the hot dog. Oh, my goodness. Not the woodland creatures, my name. Oh, here.
Ooh, make fifty thousand dollars a month from home. Hell yeah, bitch. <laughs> Oh, not. Hey, mother. I am a deposed Nigerian prince. You are my one living relative. Please share bank info so I can send them. Motherfucker, no. That, that's a scam. Don't do that. Don't never do that. Always get robbed. That's a robbery. You gonna get your penis caught in the bike tire, bro. Hot single girls. Hey. Ooh. Hey, uh, hey. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. We visiting Vesting. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. I'm a ghost. You must forward this email to 10 people. If you don't, I will murder you. I'll send that to the 10 people. Ain't gonna be me. <laughs> no, don't do. Damn. That ain't right. That ain't right. That ain't even right. That ain't even cool. <laughs> that ending is funny, bruh. Good lord. Karma Johnson. What? What the? I was sent here from the year 2036 because you made an insensitive joke in the break room of Walmart. I am here to prevent the man you become then by teaching you tolerance now. I am the tolerator. Sent from the future? Wait, wait, I work at Walmart in 20 years? Why were you laying down just then? Were you making fun of the lazy Mexicans? That's racist. What? No, uh, man. Are you making fun of the slanty-eyed Asian people? That's racist. Don't be racist. No, dude, I was just rubbing my eyes. Are you making fun of how Native Americans do this? Yep. That's racist. Wait for me. Dude, your new friend is freaking weird. Here. The 21st century is happening, Craig. Oh, that's racist. So you have a tiny penis just because you're white? I'm a child. Ah! What? So only people with penises use this bathroom? That's sexist. Don't be <laughs> sexist. <sighs> Jepper. Why don't you let that boy play with you? I don't think he can... Why aren't you playing with the normal children? Um, I can't walk. Don't let anyone tell you what you can't do. You can't let anyone do that. You can't. Look, Connor. Connor, do you see? He is playing kickball, Connor. He is walking. Do you see this, Connor? This is tolerance, Connor. Hey, man. 
man. What's your deal? No one's being intolerant. We're just eating lunch. Jesus! Don't use the name of our Lord and Savior in vain. That's blasphemous. Don't be bl blasphemous. Our Lord and Savior in vain. That's blasphemous. Don't be blasphemous. All right, what about this? Can I eat this? Is this somehow blasphemous or racist or homophobic? We done made it on the cyanide and happiness, get folks. Rejoice. All right, that's enough of that sentimental shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone can eat bread, you know. Don't be insensitive. You've yep. been tolerated. What am I going to eat now, man? I will escort you to the kitchen and select a nutritionally tolerant lunch. Hey, you can't be back here. Why? Because the kitchen is a place for a woman? That's sexist. Look, buddy, I've had about enough of you, all right? Your intolerance will not be tolerated. Wait, who is this? What? That's my friend, Rick. Sup? My mission is complete. I know now why you fry. Oh, I'm okay with this. Little help. You boys hungry? Motherfucker. Smith, a noble quest is afoot. What do you mean, There's black? a princess to save and a nasty dragon to slay. I'll need you to forge me a mighty sword. Ha <laughs> ha! Fear not, fearless hero. I've already prepared just the sword for... No! Mightier, I say. But... but my lord... Mightier! What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Stop! Ow! Ow! Fuck! Ah! <laughs> Anime style ending. Yep. Yep. Sure often. Yep, there it is. It's ready. Okay. <clears throat> the date is November 6th. The time is 3.03 p.m. Dr. Madison and I are about to test the device for the first time. I will be sending this ball into the past. This is not just a defining moment for science. It is something that mankind will for generations. We did it. It worked. I can't believe it. Let's send this to Washington. I'll call the president. You arrange transport. Got it. Dr. Madison, no security is too much and cost is no issue. Imagine the repercussions if this were to fall into the wrong hands. Ah, there it is. Ah, a porta potty Thank God. Gravity, huh? Isaac, this is brilliant. How did you come up with it? I was hit on the head with an apple. <laughs> How's it looking over there, Amelia? Over. Clear skies for miles. Couldn't have asked for a nice today. Over. Mm. Oh my god! I can't see anything! I'm going down! Mayday! Mayday! Oh. Come in, this is Agent Oswald. Come in, over. We have a gunman on the grassy knoll. I think he plans to kill the president. Take him out. Shit. Challenger launch in T-minus 30. Final systems check. Comms? Good to go. Life support? Go. Engineering? Wait, hold off on the launch. I think I found something. Ignition. 
It's wild the things you can achieve if you do shit the right way. Double entendre. Get it? Do shit? You gotta shit. I'm not sorry. It's here! What type of machine is that? Uh, just to be safe, I'll only go back five seconds. Uh, just to be safe, I'll... Poor Joe. He could have avoided this untimely accident if only he had read the instruction manual to his new generic brand time machine. That's why I'm here with the help of my friend Timmy to show you how to safely and responsibly use your time machine. Now, Timmy, where have you gone off to? Timmy? Where is that Timmy? Or should I say, when is that Timmy? Oh, nope. It was where? Ha <laughs> ha! I see you've just unboxed your time machine. Yeah, I can't wait to use it. I'm going to kill Hitler. Timmy, now why would you do a thing like that without consulting your safety manual first? If you go back in time to kill Hitler, the Nazis wouldn't exist. You were conceived in the back seat of a Volkswagen Beetle, and that's Nazi technology. If the Beetle was never invented, where were you conceived? If you weren't conceived, then who killed Hitler, Timmy? Who? Hitlers don't just kill themselves. That's why you must always ensure that your paradox prevention switch is flipped to the on position before traveling through space and time. Gosh, I had no idea time travel could be so dangerous. Oh yes, dangerous and rude. You see those people over there, Timmy? Those folks are from the future. Whoa. They've traveled back in time to take in the sights of your present day. Ooh. See? They are lined up nice and orderly behind the velvet rope, not interfering or feeding any of the present day fauna, taking nothing but pictures and leaving nothing but footprints. Damn! Watch your mouth. You see, Timmy, the fabric of time is delicate and easily soiled. Everything as we know it could crumble in your sticky little kid hands and you would be entirely to blame. You wouldn't want that now, would you? What about traveling to the future? <laughs> the future? The future doesn't affect us at all. Go nuts, have fun, and remember, the future is time's wastebasket. <laughs> the future is time's wastebasket. Excuse me, sir. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I was just gonna use the bathroom. Sorry, sir. This is the first class bathroom. You'll have to use the other bathroom. Huh. <clears throat> Sorry, sir. This bathroom is reserved for the economy class. You'll have to use the other one. Uh. Your poor ass can't use this bathroom. You have to use the bathroom in last class. Finally, the ceremonial dagger is mine for the taking! <coughs> what?! It's Hunk Fu! Get him! Get him, you fools!
motherfucker. Y'all ain't shit for this. Yeah, uh, all right. Uh, let's just give them a few moments to themselves, I guess. All right. They're probably just about... Oh, oh, uh, they are just getting started, really. That's it. That's enough time to themselves. Damn it! Find him! Damn it! Damn you, hung fool! That's what you get out there kissing dudes in public. You what? You got him? Whoa. I mean, I... Wow. You're more evil than I am. Did you plan that? You know what? I don't even know. Yeah, just take it. I'm smelling burnt toast. Isn't that a sign of a stroke? It's just the toast I burnt. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so how'd you burn it anyway? I forgot about it when you started having your stroke. Do you like baseball, kid? Yeah, I want to be a baseball player when I grow up. Right now, I'm just in the junior leagues. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the junior leagues. Tell me, kid, you ever heard of Coach Murphy? Nope. Why is this corner so dusty? Aren't you a janitor? <laughs> not today, I'm not. Today, I'm just a simple man with a story. It all began when I was about your age. Do you like baseball, kid? Nope. I want to be a janitor when I grow up. <laughs> well, on an unrelated note, let me tell you the story of Coach Murphy. Strike three, you're out. Oh. This bites. If we don't win this game, we're out of the season. I wish Coach Murphy was here. He'd tell us how to turn this game around. Guys, guys, I got a letter. It's from Coach Murphy. Dear boys, sorry I missed the big game. I would have loved to be there and see you all win, but it seems I broke my leg from kicking a shark too hard. Anyway, I'm glad you boys weren't there to see it. I believe in you boys. I know you can win the big game if you set your minds to it. Sincerely, Coach Murphy. He's right. Come on, guys, let's do this. And the Seattle Sea Slugs win the state championship! We did it, guys! 
We're going to nationals! What's wrong, Max? Oh, I just wish Coach Murphy would have been here. Guys, guys, I got another letter! Dear boys, I'm sorry I missed the big game. I had to get a job at the tire factory to pay off my bookie, and both of my arms got ripped off by a conveyor belt. I'm okay now, but it was pretty ugly for a while. I'm just glad you boys weren't there to see it. Keep on playing, boys. Dear boys, sorry I missed the big game. I got knocked unconscious for two weeks by a meteorite. I'm just glad you boys weren't there to Dear see Dear boys, sorry I missed the big game. I was trying to see how many smells I could smell, and I accidentally overdosed. Dear boys, and then I had to go sorry I missed the big game. I've been slowly watching my daughter die. She's in full health, so it's taken quite a long time. Recently <laughs> Dear boys, I'm sorry I missed the big game. I've been slowly watching my daughter die. She's in full health, so it's taken quite a while. <laughs> Motherfuck, man. Been sued by Microsoft. They lost a sample fell on my head, and I discovered this thing I call fizz. Sorry, I missed the big game. Afterwards, I fell into a bottomless pit. And then I met you boys weren't there to see. Dear boy. We made it, guys. The biggest game there is. Well, it looks like my shift is over. But, but, I need to know what happened next. What am I gonna tell some other kid when I'm the janitor? <laughs> kid, you are the janitor. Wait, but what about the story? Just make something up. What? Whoa, what happened next, Janitor? Did they win the big game? You bet they did, but that was just the beginning. We did it! We're the Junior League World Champions! And Coach Murphy wasn't even here. Not for any of it. Well, maybe he had a good reason, Max. Dear boys, sorry I missed the big game. My dog turned blue and I had to paint it green again. And then my head turned into a bucket and it rained. Anyway, you kids keep it up. I expect great things from my boys. Introducing the first Junior League team to make it into the majors, the Seattle Seasons! <laughs> I'm telling you, Susan, these Seattle Sea Slugs, wow, simply unstoppable. Now they've won not only the Baseball World Series, but also their first Super Bowl. An incredible... Dear boys, sorry I missed the big game. Turns out I'm a synthetic cybernetic mandroid and my bionic brain sphere was malfunctioning. The first baseball team to play a game on the moon. And then I got turned into a radish. I'm allergic to radishes, and needless to With say... With an astounding sweep of every Academy Award, the incredible true story of one baseball team... Me and that wizard must have jeweled for 50 days. And so I appoint these fine young boys as the next Supreme Court of the United but States. But my parents shrunk me down to a miniature size, and I couldn't find any clothes that fit. Anyway, so we are hereby renaming <laughs> baseball to slugball in honor of the Seattle Sea Slugs the greatest slugball team to ever exist. Coach Murphy did something remarkable with those boys. He turned them into men. That's stupid. None of that stuff happened. You're dumb. Baseball's still called baseball. You know, just because you're a janitor doesn't mean you get to lie to kids. Doesn't it? <sighs> Some janitor I am. Couldn't even inspire one kid with a story about slugball. Well, there's more to being a janitor than that. Come here, kid. I want to show you something. Janitor's closet closet. <clears throat> the letters? But that means you. That's right. I was that boy. Now, wait a second, kid. All these boxes are empty. Where are the letters? Truth be told, there was only ever one letter. <clears throat> Dear 
Dear boys, sorry I missed your big game. The truth is, I hate all of you. Generally speaking, I hate baseball. But really, I just don't like you boys. In fact, I've been coaching for the other team all season. Joe, you're a worthless pitcher with weird knees. Pete, you're a no-good fat ass who'll never make it to first base. And I don't mean baseball. Max, you're just a great A piece of shit. All of you are just fucking terrible. I hope y'all quit baseball and find something you're better at, like killing yourselves. Sincerely, Coach Murphy. P.S. Look behind you. Oh! You dirty mother... Yo, shoot him right in his anus. And that's the day I decided to become a janitor. You know, there's a lot more to what we do than telling nostalgic stories and inspiring the young. Being a janitor is about sweeping, mopping, pouring wood chips on the vomit. And where that's concerned, you're the best damn janitor I've ever met. Now go clean up that corner. Good job out there, officer. Now hit the showers. Thanks, Sarge. <sighs> oh, hello, everyone. Hey, Luigi! What's up, man? How's it hanging, Luigi? Hey, bro. I hope you don't mind. I invited my friend along. This is Waluigi. <laughs> Are you serious? Huh? Are you joking me with this right now? What you talking about, Luigi? Yeah, what's up? You don't see it. Is uh, this a prank? What? Huh, he's an evil me. <laughs> Dude, it's just Waluigi. His name is a Waluigi. That just means bad Luigi. Oh, because you're so good. Do you know how self-centered you sound right now? Yeah, I mean, we've known him longer than you, so... Maybe he's the good Luigi, and you're the bad one. Look, it is a club. Hey, stop! This was supposed to be a fun day of Mario Golf, and congratulations, you're ruining it. Oh, and he stole my debit card. Oh, yeah. I found this on the ground, and I wanted to return it to you. Also, I bought everyone a pizza with it. Hey, what's up, dude? Nice. Huh? You're being a gigantic asshole right now, Luigi. No, he's the asshole. <laughs> Luigi, come on, man. You're making him cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. What was that? You did not see that. <laughs> Fuck golf. Let's go play some Mario Tennis. Come on, Waluigi. Unbelievable, yeah, let's man. Go. Luigi, I'm... I, I didn't mean to... Go! <laughs> Lights out by the Grateful Dead. And again, for those just tuning in, scientists have in fact confirmed that the solar flare will hit the Earth within 10 minutes. We are looking at a total Damn. extinction event. Hold your families close. This is Abby Babel signing off. Good luck and Godspeed. How do you know he's even real? 
When you spend as much time in the skies as I have, you see some things. Ardent, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Daddy, Daddy. Jesus Christ. What is it now? The Earth is in danger. They're praying for help. Ugh, which one is Earth again? The third one. Yeah, that's not even my favorite one. But, Daddy... Fine, I'll send a guy. And so on and so forth for your help, dear Lord. We are grateful. Hi, grateful. I'm... Cloud Dad! Is that God? I am but a posthumous cumulus who can only win this as a cumulonimbus. That one was my favorite. Hey, Billy. Billy, I'm back from saving the world. Did you notice the sun's back on? What the? Dad, close the window, you idiot! The sun's too you bright! Died. Ah, you made me die! You've been playing that game this whole time? Billy, it's a beautiful new day! Maybe we could go outside and play catch. And why would I do that? Because I said so. so. Just so you know, I'm not having fun! Fathers, we've done did it. Our son is saved and the flashlight has been destroyed, thanks in large part to our newest returning member. I'm proud to appoint to the Council of Dads, Jonathan's dad! <laughs> Where the heck is he? must be Jonathan. I've got some contraband for you. Oh boy, I hope it's drugs. Jonathan! Oh, your dad's here. Oh shit. Smoking meth, Jonathan. Well, aren't you? Gonna give your old dad a hit. You wanted to speak privately? What's this about? I was reviewing the black box from... The wreckage of Plain Jane. And this came up in the video feed. Jetpack. Welcome back to your local Channel 8 News. I'm Chip Chapley. Is pregnancy linked to childbirth? Our viewer poll results may surprise you. But first, let's go to our weatherman extraordinaire, Sam for Sam. Sam? Thanks, Chip. It's going to be a warm one out there today, which is great news for anyone on our birthday list.
I, I didn't know it was your birthday, Sam. Happy birth? Thanks, Chip. A lot of you at the studio seem to space on that one, even though many of you RSVP'd for the party at my place last night. Let's talk about this another time, eh, Sam? Today's forecast includes about 20 pounds of uneaten macaroni salad spoiling in the dumpster behind my apartment. This just in, any party with 20 pounds of macaroni salad is a party this newscaster is glad he missed. Weather alert. <laughs> Fuck you, Chip. <laughs> 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 Breaking news. A fight has broken out at the Channel 8 News headquarters between our own Chip Chapley and an unknown assailant. I hope he's okay. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Police have been dispatched, but were unable to respond due to the blizzard outside. <laughs> really? A blizzard, Sam? I'm not a good weatherman. We're gonna check in real quick with my fist. It appears to be approaching Sam's face. Huh? <laughs> That shit was funny. <laughs> ah! Mr. Tortoise, Mr. Tortoise, how does it feel to be the winner of the big race? I haven't won yet. Now, I have won. That was so predictable. Quiet. I want to see what happens next. Ugh, don't tell me you enjoyed this crap. The purple shirted ice tower is completely sold out. Oh, woo. He stabs people's eyes. <sighs> what a load of. Oh, my God. y'all looks like you've got a blown transformer mind if i oh! <laughs> really they're going the self-reference route purple shirted eye stabber sucks now yeah dude well fuck you guys let's see you do better And there you have it. Mr. Ice Ever killed these men in cold blood, Your Honor! Sentenced to death. <laughs> <laughs> 
Electric chair. But, Your Honor, I'm not the purple-shirted eye stabber. Wait, what that means? Oh, no! And there you have it. Looks like justice is blind. <laughs> That was a good one. Hey, Margarita. This party's crazy. Whoa! Yeah, it's a shame we got it. It's a, it's a shame we're out of booze, though. We, wait. No, 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 no. I better wrap this up and get these people out of here. Wait, 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 dude. I could get more party for the booze. No way. No way. I'm not. <laughs> You're more drunk than I am. I'm not that drunk. We're pooping on the party. You really don't think you should be doing this, man. <laughs> You're not my babysitter. I'll go to the liquor store down the street. All right, if you insist. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you pick up some ice while you're out? Thanks, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Give me your purse, you dumb bitch. Oh, God. And she's all like, I don't even eat pasta. So I'm like, I made it! Oh shit! I forgot the ice! That one got me. That one got me. I'll give him that. That one got me. Name? Uh, Nathan Summers. Let's see. Nathan Summers. Nathan Summers. Oh my god! No, no, no! Oh, there's been a mistake! What? You aren't supposed to be dead yet. I could lose my job over this. Okay. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. I have to send you back. You must wait until it's your time. Must have hit my head on every step on the way down. Where was I? What type of shit? Suicide, huh? <laughs> I'll see you in hell. Must have been too close to the edge. <laughs> Gee dang, that gave me quite a start. I need to fix this old thing. Steve? Game! 
I haven't seen you since you died. Yeah, no, you did too. Fantastic. So good to see you, old friend. Likewise. So, what do ghosts do for fun? I don't know. I always just kind of, uh, haunted you. Hmm. Let's keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, sir and madam. Welcome to La Telepathie. Have you dined with us before? No, this is our first time. We've heard great things. <laughs> the great things you've heard, madam, are quite correct. So can we see the menu? There are no menus, I'm afraid. Are there any specials tonight? <laughs> Every dish is special, sir. You'll see, each meal is tailored to the innermost cravings of each specific diner. Our chefs monitor each customer's brain activity and create a culinary masterpiece based on their individual wishes. That's fantastic. So how do we order? No need to order, sir. Your minds have already informed our chef of the dish you desire. This is amazing. I wonder what we're gonna get. I'm so excited. I hope mine's made of chocolate, or bacon, or caviar. Me too. I can't wait to find out. Happy anniversary, sweetheart. Your chocolate caviar fountain with bacon crackers, madam. This looks amazing! And for you, sir, your dicks. What, what the fuck's name is that? Your dinner, sir. Dicks. There, there must be some kind of mistake. I, I don't. Stephen, why did he bring you dicks? I, I don't know. Uh, this, this is not what I ordered. Sir, you were telepathically monitored, and this is most certainly the dish that your brain desired. My brain didn't desire this. We are a respectable establishment, and can assure you that your brain specifically said, <clears throat> "Ooh, I hope I get a big pile of dicks to put in my mouth. That would be so yummy, wummy." Sir. Well, I, I don't want it. This is a mix-up. Steven, you're making a scene. We cannot just replace the dicks you ordered because you changed your mind. Send it back and bring me something else right now. You're ruining our anniversary! I'm leaving. Have fun with your plate of dicks! I'll get your checks, sir. Oh my god, that's so fucking good. What the fuck? Oh! Oh! star of the show, the man you've all been waiting for, the master of disaster, the sultan of catapulted, the high king of Viking, action stands the suicidal stuntman.
doing all that stuff to try to die. That's funny. Oh. That is really funny. Galmart. Oh. Larry? Sad Larry? What? Why are you, uh, why are you working on your day off? What else am I gonna do? Well, there's a little get-together later on. Why don't you take a break? Come join us? I don't know. Oh, come on, there's gonna be snacks, drinks, it's gonna be games. I'd probably just bring the mood down. Larry, it's a party for a certain somebody on a certain special day. Somebody whose name rhymes with Glad Gary. Oh, Bad Barry? He hates me. There's gonna be other people there too. Other people hate me even more. Just listen to what I am saying to you, Larry. Have fun at your party. Shouldn't be hard without me there. God damn it, Larry! Happy fucking birthday! <laughs> like, there's a certain type of people in the world where they just want to complain and cry and play the victim. Uh, sorry, everyone. Larry's not coming. I mean, good? Scary. Scary, you rascal. A man buys fruit. Have a great day. What? Oh my god! What did I just fucking tell you? How much longer, doctor? Not long now. You're doing great. A few more pushes and you'll be able to meet your beautiful baby. I should know. I'm a real doctor. This is the police! Open up! <laughs> we have a warrant for the arrest of Dr. Lionel Real Doctor on six counts of medical malpractice. Where is he? Shit! All right, Dr. Real Doctor. If that is your real name, you're under a... Perfect hiding place. Yep. Perfect hiding place. Don't say a fucking word. Stevie, my man! Morning, Stevie! Hey, Stevie, when we going on that date? Call me. Hey, Stevie, how the fuck you doing? Hey, everyone, Stevie's over here. Hey, Stevie! Hey, hey it's boy. A Stevie! A child Stevie! <laughs> Stevie! Look, Mommy, that man's really short. Oh, no, no. That's Stevie. Everyone loves Stevie. <laughs> Holy shit! Hey, everyone! Check out the fucking shrimp! <laughs> what are you, like, like two feet tall? <laughs> Oh, God, you're just a tiny little baby guy, aren't you? <laughs> Do you ever get tired of smelling other people's farts all day? <laughs> when you get home, do you use the front door or the doggy door? Hey there, Stevie. Oh, looking sharp there, Stevie. 
Oh, excuse me, Stevie. Shortcakes! We've got cute and tiny shortcakes over here. Oh, this is Stevie. Oh, Jesus. I, I didn't mean to. You gotta believe me! Yo, Stevie! Gotta be careful. Okay, I'm off to work. <laughs> hmm. Okay, honey, I'll see you tonight. Love ya. I'm afraid there's bad news. His spinal disease has progressed faster than anticipated. We thought he had a few months, but it's looking more like a few weeks. I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> there is good news, however. Uh, the Make Wishes Come True Foundation made it today, and they brought along a very special friend. Coming through! I've got a brave little boy to meet! No way! Bert the Speeding Bullet Broadway? In the flesh and bones, little hero. I'm told by my friends at Make Wishes Come True that you have a very special request for your favorite wrestler in the whole world today. You can make anything come true, right? I'll try my best, little hero. I want you <coughs> to beat me to death. The fuck you say? I want you to give me the bullet buster. I want you to break my bones with the bullet time press. I want to go out my way with style. I'm ready, speeding bullet. Release me from this mortal coil. Okay, little hero. <laughs> Don't make me. <laughs> Bullet Buster! Damn! Better pay up on that time next time. Better I'm, have my. I'm cured! I'm alive and I'm cured! I feel great! Everything is going to be all right! Thanks, Bert Broadway! Yeah! Yes! All right! Yeah! Woohoo! Yes! Yes! Woohoo! Yeah! Hey, 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 what you doing there? <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait, wait. Oh, 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 One, two, three. <laughs> Damn this job. <laughs> <gasps> Moses, come forward, for I am the father of all things that have been and are to be. Ah. But first, remove your sandals, for the place you are standing is holy ground. Ooh, Jesus, a free! Yeah, so defeat! Your staff and robes as well. Moses. Yep, there they told you! I knew it! You free! Yeah! Bust it open! Oh God, Lord! I didn't mean. Round Moses. Uh... The... Was this like a biblical sex? Oh God! Oh! Okay, come ah! closer. Ah! Ah! Now, ah! on one foot. That's ah! it. <laughs> Rub your belly and pat your head. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> closer, 
closer now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and twist your nipples too. Shut, 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 shut up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> yeah, uh, twist your nipples and <clears throat> uh, turn around and make your butt cheeks talk. <laughs> This thing is saying, turn around and make your butt cheeks talk. Be careful, guys. Both the Lord and the devil work in mysterious ways. But if the voice in your head asks you to get buck naked in front of people, turn around and make your booty meat talk. It's more than likely not the Lord. I've never been to church and had them ask me to do that unless they thought that that's where the collection money was stashed at. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy Williams here. I'm in position, sir. <laughs> Good, now remember, Jimmy Williams is an incredibly unlikable politician. Women, children, men, the elderly, babies, anyone in this parade could be out to kill him. Keep your eyes peeled. Understood. Bad Kratos? guy at 12 o'clock. I've got him in my sights. Take the shot. <gasps> Lieutenant, what's the holdup? Fire when ready. There's a balloon in the way, sir. So what? Just shoot through it. We don't have a second to lose. But, but Chief, it's Pikachu. Oh. What'd you say? A Pika what? A Pokemon, sir. I, I don't care if it's the Dalai Lama. Shoot the damn Pokemon. All right, all right, we're all good. I'm taking the shot. Oh God, Chief, is that another Pikachu? It's SpongeBob SquarePants, sir. I can't. Please don't make me do it, Lieutenant. I am warning you. If you don't blow SpongeBob away right now, you weren't a '90s kid, sir. You wouldn't understand. No. Not the Power Rangers! Do it now! That's an order! No! I won't! That damn nostalgia of yours is clouding your judgment! There are lives at stake! How about the... Uh, oh, the magic school bus! There's kids in there! Mindy's kids! Oh, for Pete's sake. It's... Surge Cola. Who even drinks that? I remember Surge Cola. I don't! Wait a minute. Oh, no, is that... My father. Look, I, I understand if you don't... You son of a bitch! Jeez, behind these kids. Pretty fucked up, right? I can understand your mom, but your dad? Jesus. Mary and Joseph. Oh, good lord. That man needs to be breastfed by his father. I've been watching too much Family Guy lately, like when Stewie had Peter breastfed him. No one deserves to be breastfed by some man's lint-covered nipples. Ah, am I right? <laughs> no one sucks he titty. <laughs> Not unless they're, they're making a lot of money from doing it. You know, back in my day, it was $15 a, a customer. You know, it was real tricks and real treats, real ho-ho-hos. It was getting money. Shit. It's Jimmy, Jimmy Three Balls. He's got three balls on him. What? Most of you just have the two. There's three testes on him. Three, Jimmy Three Balls? No. No! Why haven't I seen this? Have I seen this? What is this? What is it? Why is there three? Hey, it's Jimmy Three Balls. What? Jimmy! J Jimmy Three Balls! You've got three balls! Who the fuck are you? What are you talking about? Uh, you... The, the theme song said you, uh... I don't have three balls? You don't know me! What the hell are you talking about? You don't know about? me, cuz! I have two balls! What the fuck? He's Jimmy, you don't know about my Jimmy balls! It's a waste of my balls, they... My ball is yell at a random fell about how many balls he's got. Who's singing? Ask show me yourself. about my goose. Uh, Motherfucker. No, Jimmy Three Balls was getting real mad, confused about how many balls he had. Come out and sing that to my face! Sir, sir, having three balls is very impressive, but you do not have the right to trash my store! 
I don't know. Now, Jimmy Three Balls was throwing food, which around these parts is considered quite rude. I have two balls! Two! Then what's he so mad for? Like, he's obviously lying. He's probably got like six. <laughs> And the three ball dude got himself in a feud. Shut up! Shut up! Well, there goes Jimmy kicking a lasagna. I guess that's what happens when there's three balls on you. Ah! He's Jimmy. Ah! Ah! Balls breaking a grocery store. Most you lads have two gonads. Jimmy's got one more. Oh, yes, he's Jimmy. Jimmy three balls. Now he's got off the wall. Oh, oh. three balls. Not to be a dick or anything, but your daughter's spine is broken, her body is riddled with blood clots and viruses, and she's got a bunch of tumors in her head. There's nothing more we can do for her. <laughs> yes! How much time does she have? Yes! Left? Only a tiny while. Goodbye, child support! Did someone say... Yes! Tiny style? No, I said tiny while. Do you have tumors in your ears, too? I'm sorry, that was me. <laughs> What's this? Her, her bloodstream! It's cleared up! Shit! Damn it! Damn it! They're vanishing! <laughs> Tiny style! Why, your daughter is completely cured! It's a miracle from God! <gasps> Praise me! Thank you, God! Thank you, God! Thank you, God! <laughs> This time on Meds Las Vegas. Someone's got to clean the scum off these streets. <laughs> it's getting everyone sick. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I've got a shot. Take it. Kiki! <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <coughs> whoa, 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 hey, 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 easy there, guy. How much have you had to breathe tonight? Asthma. Sick <laughs> son of a bitch. Hey, you who? Come on, breathe into this. <laughs> Look, buddy, if you're not gonna take this in the front side, this is going in the back side. Next time on Meds. Las Vegas. Hey, this isn't, this isn't you. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I live in Las Vegas, that's wild. This time on Meds. Miami! You got three seconds to tell me where the hell you got these. Uh, I don't know, I've never seen those pills in my life. Dementia. Sick son of a bitch. Take these pills right now! If it were up to me, these geezers, they'd all be in a home. They better thank God it's not up to me. Hey, are these prescription? Huh? Jesus Christ! They haven't made them this strong since the 60s. These will make you see some crazy shit. Get, get them out of here. Uh, 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 
moving. Appendix. Cut the red wire. Red wire. It's gonna burst! Why would you want to... What the hell? No! Why is he a mute? Why can't you hear him? Why couldn't we hear him talk? What's going on? What the... Wait, what's going on? Is that normal? Is this... What the fuck? Is that a burrito? Is that a burrito? That's a hamburger. Bottom down, bottom bun. Ooh, he a bottom? Flip me. What type of shit? No. This is wild dog. No. No. Oh. Does that mean you gonna poop out Jesus? What the f no? No! Motherfucker, what? Hold on now. Wait, what did he just. What did he just transform into? Oh, he was a clown! Oh, he's a clown. Did not see that coming. <laughs> and you know that's the truth, because that's what she said. <laughs> that she never saw it coming. Oh! <laughs> Oh, what the? bread, oh. meat. Okay, that's good. What? Lettuce, maybe, or a green guitar. Definitely tomato. Maybe sperm. What? You never know. Could be sperm. Okay, and a bun. Huh. That's good. Good thing. I would bite this. Hmm. Yes. All right. Delicious. Uh... Um. Um. Motherfucker! These birds are terrible people. How could they do this? Oh! Oh! We need a medic! Oh! I'm hit. No, 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 no! Come on! Come on! You can't die on me! Don't you die on me now! Don't you die I on me! I guess we won't get to go <laughs> on that fishing trip after all. Don't you say that! We're gonna get you out of here. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I'm lung shot. Tell my wife I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I'm lung shot. No, Sarge. If you're going to pull through, you're going to make it, and you're going to walk up to her on your own two feet right out of here, and you're going to tell her yourself. And also, she's standing right over there. It's not far. She and I <coughs> have been at odds lately. <coughs> Ever since she shot me in the lungs. <coughs> Are you sure? 
<laughs> bro, I forgot that this is funny. I'm trying to TikTok this shit, but I don't remember none of the lines. You know what I'm saying? We doing this shit pro bono. All right. I'll go tell her. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, ma'am, but your husband is long shot. And he's not going to make it. Well, you tell him that maybe after he's done dying, he can clean the garage like I've asked him to, uh, I don't know, a hundred times. Oh, okay. I'll go tell him. Sarge! This is my dying Sarge, face. wake up. Sarge, stay with me. So your wife said that when you're done, um, dying, that you should clean the garage. Well, you tell her! <laughs> I would love to if she hadn't shot me in the lungs. Um... Yes, sir. I'll be right back. Uh, all right. He said well, that- Well, you tell him that if he's still dead by the time I get home from work, I'll kill him again. <sighs> all right. You wait right here. All right, Sarge. Now, she said that- Tell her- <coughs> That- <coughs> <coughs> She's a bitch! Okay. He says- Cough, cough, gurgle. Well, you can tell him that if he doesn't get his bloody ass up, cough, cough. off. Oh, oh, shit! This is all your fault me? if you just Absolutely clean the garage not. like what you want to me? Who should clean the garage? Me? Up? Are you oh, kidding you shot me? me right no, along. I cannot believe you're doing that. There it is. There's a hole. My fingers in it. This is just insane. Well, it certainly is your blood everywhere. Like, what the? I love how it just kept escalating, bro. <laughs> you tell her. Ah, 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 ah. Ah! Fucking bitch! <laughs> coffee crack? Ah, jeez, I totally forgot I put a pot of coffee on. You put a pot Hope of crack good. on! Oh, oh you man, can't drink I forgot crack? to start the dishwasher. You cannot drink crack! I don't have any crack. clean mugs. Everyone knows <laughs> you have to hmm. smoke it. I wonder what else I'm forgetting today. Only smoke crack, bro. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot to dispose of this. What? That's not right. He's already on his way to a place far worse than death. Holy matrimony. Oh, I know. Oh, I, I remember this one vehemently. Doesn't he like kick this guy or something? Bro, I thought this was the one where the homeless guy comes up, kicks the Hot crap out of the dude huh? to eat the bird. Whew. Does he eat that butterfly? No? That's an intense beard you've got going on there. How does the beard do it? I, I know I, I know he takes it. Hey, them. this might sound a little weird, How does he do but it? can I touch it? No, no, you I, cannot. I feel no oddly compelled. Don't be compelled to don't feel touch your beard. Stop feeling towards me. Wow. That's so weird. Is it? Wait, what yep, the? There it is. Oh, what is this? Yep, what are, gotcha. what's, what's out? Yep, there you go. <laughs> Syphilis, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, gonorrhea, this nigga. Yeah, syphilis, nigga. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, 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 uh, that's chlamydia. Man. Whoa. Nice Man. beard. That's at least chlamydia. Hey, this might sound weird, but... Oh! <laughs> what? What does the beard shoot lasers for? How? The wardrobe. You mean like the Lion and the Witch? Yeah, built it. My boy! My people are in grave danger no. and are in need of your no. help. Are you ready to go on no. a magical adventure? No magical. Uh, yes, I am. Then come, no. follow me. There isn't much time. I'm not coming nowhere. I'm <laughs> not coming. No. Oh, I knew it was coming. I knew it. He even he warned him. He let him know. <laughs> About to get raped. Yep. Yep. Oh, wait. Yep, there it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Ah! No! Ah! Yep, what? <laughs> this is why I like cyanide and happiness. The skits are so well done. Even though I've seen them, I don't remember any of them. All I had to do was wait like a week. I don't remember shit. Mm-hmm.
Ugh. Ooh, beatboxes on the toilet, nigga. Even I don't do that. <laughs> Yep, better use that shirt. Mm. Yep. Mm. Hey, hey, good, good finger control. What was that? You know, I actually had a similar situation happen to me. A guy kicked open my stall. He took one look at me and then apologized profusely. I didn't even get off the toilet. I'm mid shit. I was at a Chinese restaurant. At the Chinese restaurant, they only got one bathroom. I admit, I was in the bathroom for 45 minutes. So I was making shortcakes and I wasn't trying to rush the process. So after being there 45 minutes, one of the dudes that was waiting to poop, the real long line at four, because I was I was taking my time because I wasn't going to rush the process kicks open the bathroom door hey you mom it and when he does i'm sitting right there like bro i'll tell you one thing it's a good thing he started apologizing because he was about a minute and a half away from getting fecal matter smeared all across his brand new suit and his face and lips I and mean, i got the best excuse in the world i had to shit on them officer i feared for my life none of y'all would have judged me yeah. Ooh. He ain't even get to wash his hands yet. Ah, shit. Oh, yeah, turn up. Left. Don't believe it. No, no. Oh. Man, people ain't playing no more. People better stop playing with people about their toilet paper, man. People don't even play. People don't even be playing, bro. You got, yeah. Oh, hi. You didn't see me there. You know why? Because I'm Ted Bear. If you want to survive like me, you've got to have a sharp wit, endurance, good looks, and a backpack full of ingenuity. I've got mine on both straps. Try and keep up. Here's the scenario. You're on an international flight, and the best has gone dodgy. Perhaps an albatross with poor eyesight has confused your plane engine for a mate and smacks right into it. Macking up your one snug commute to a spiraling disaster catastrophe. Luckily, you've left your tray table up, and now you're the only survivor, stuck in some godforsaken jungle. It's cold, it's muddy, it's wet, it's hot, it's inconvenient, and it's a bugger out of the way. Now, the first thing you gotta do is get a sense of direction. A good strategy is to find the nearest river and follow it. After a while, all the walking will leave you bleed naked. You what? need to find a source of food, because food means carbohydrates. Carbohydrates mean energy. Energy means movement. Movement means survival. Luckily, there are bounties of food in the wilderness. You've just got to know where to look. <gasps> bacon! We must be underneath a bacon tree! Now, some of these aren't quite ready. You need to climb higher to find the crispy ones. Ah, now there's a nice ripe strip. You've got yourself a quarter of a complete breakfast right there. Time to keep moving. Try and keep up. Now, we need to find some refreshments to wash it down. Ah, now what do we have here? Now, it's very crucial to reach all the way in the back to get the freshest milk. Always, always, always check the expiration date on the back. It's imperative to your survival. Ah, just my luck. Chocolate chip muffins. <laughs> Raisins. Ugh. Here we are on some desert island, conceivably in the middle of the ocean. Without a map, we can't be sure. What we do know is that our body needs water. Not so fast, mate. 
This is salt water. We need to filter it into something more drinkable. And now the fruit fish turns salt water into delicious, drinkable punch. First, you need to find the fruit appendage. <laughs> Ray, suck! He's sucking dick! Now you're dick. probably thinking, Dad, there's no such you thing as a fruit fish. You just well, you're dick. right. It's actually a crustacean. That's not better. That's not better. You don't suck that. You don't suck on those things on the deep for that. How did he get fat? fat? How did he get fat? That's not... That's not... That doesn't look aerodynamically possible. Yeah. Yep. The, the trick to... Uh, there you go. Survive it on a... Mm hmm On a mountain. Yep. Mm hmm It's a... Uh, it's hard to catch your breath. Mm. Especially when you're fat. elevation. Real hard to catch a breath gonna, when you're fat. I'm just gonna... Don't catch your titty in that bear trap. Don't, don't put your titty in that breast, breast, bear trap. Watch your nipple. Oh, my nipple! Ew, nigga, don't suck wilderness poop. Know what that liquid is that that could be other stuff. Wow, man, are you okay? Yeah, why? You got a pole in your stomach. Oh god! Oh god! What the hell? You've got one too! Oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Poor little guy. He's been sick for so long, and I feel so badly for him. Little buddy is in so much pain. I'm afraid the only option we have left is, uh, you know, have sex with it. Mm-hmm. Miss Livingston, this is an adult human being inside of an animal costume. Can't you see that he's in pain? Mm-hmm. He's my pet. And it's my decision. And my decision is I want to end his suffering. I see. And uh, what is he suffering from exactly? Well, look at him. I tell you this every time you come in here, Mrs. Livingston. This is your son, Kurt. A 24-year-old adult human male, and I can't euthanize a 24-year-old adult human male. Actually, it's Fire Dash. Right. I'm a pyrofox from the forest planet. I'm no, you you don't understand. In the kingdom Fire of Fire Dash, Dash is sick. He's been. He's been sick. He's been sick a long time. <sighs> Miss Livingston. Call me Rachel. Ooh, Ms. Livingston, sick. this has been and continues to be a complete waste of my time and resources. On top of the fact that this is completely unethical, it disregards Kurt's basic human rights. It's Fire Dash? My name is Fire Dash? You just don't want to live I'm with a Mark. son who, as an it's adult, wants to live his life as a magical human planet? dog. What, would you? Uh, I'm a pyro. Not boss. to mention the responsibilities you have as a mother. His mother. Come on, please? No. Isn't there somewhere I could leave him or something? Come on, Kurt. Are you gonna let her treat you like this? Or are you gonna stand up straight like a man and say, I'm here, I'm a magical dog boy, and I don't wanna die, Mom? I don't appreciate you referring to me as a cisgender no! human male. I'm a trigender pyrofox. Get out. Please. Get out. Please. Get out. Come on. Get out. Get out of my office. Oh, fine. <laughs> Quiet, Puppet. Soon you'll finally be oh. free. Oh.
that one just got dark. Dr. Murphy is ready to see you, Joel. Right this way. All right, if you'll just have a seat right here, the dentist will be with you momentarily. Hello there, Joel! Haven't seen you for a while! Oh, you weren't afraid to come back now, were you? No! <laughs> JK, JK. We like to have fun here. All right, Joel! Let's see what's going on with those choppers in there! Open up! Nah, I won't bite, and I hope you don't either. Ha <laughs> JK, JK, LOL. Say, ah! Oh, wow! You're a little spitty, aren't you? Are you nervous? Yeah, this'll help. All right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, okay? Okay. Oh, my God. I remember this one. This is one of the few ones that was so nasty that I remember it. Employee of the Month! No! 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 I remember this! I didn't remember the Employee of the Month part before! No! I'm eating candy right now so I can feel the sucking in my mouth. Because I'm sucking on this candy, it makes it worse. No. Oh my God, I can't see this. Oh my God, employee of the month. Oh God, oh, I gotta take a break on this. Oh my God, that hurt. Oh my God. Well, that's the closest I've ever been to throwing up on camera. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, Bobby. Mother's Day cake's on a thing, kiddo. But, Bob. She's too smart for me. Good boy, you are. Who's a star? Yeah, you are. You're such a good boy. Oh, yeah. I like that. I'm gonna go grab a drink. You want anything from the kitchen? Yeah, could you grab me a soda? What the fuck, man? Don't act like I don't know what's going on. Keep your paws off my Kool-Aid. Understood? <laughs> Keep it up and I'll take you to the pound. And by pound, I mean with my fists. What I'm trying to say is, I'll fucking fight you, dog. Gosh, make room, you two. I'm glad that you two are getting along so well. After all, he's my beastie big man. Yes, you are. He's so fucking cute. Oh, yeah. That's it. Do you want to take this outside? I said, let's take this outside. All right, let's do it. Let's take this outside. It really be like that. <laughs> Bro, I've had that happen to me in real life about five times. It's funny. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. This is Will Blast from Sage D. Twisms.